This is a Blender Python tutorial where we'll be going over the Add Object Add-on Template. Hey, I'm Victor Stepanoff. I'll be guiding you through this Blender Python tutorial. Today we're going to be deconstructing one of the templates that comes with Blender, so no need to download any code. You can find it here to, under Templates, Python, and Add-on Add Object. So let's click on that. And you'll get uh, this code right here, and we're going to go over all the main parts of this script. So the functionality, the operator, and the add-on part. Let's dive in straight away and look at the functionality. I'm going to create a new file right here, and I'm going to just open that template again in another uh, text window. All right, so let's look at the functionality and the main functionality here is this function right here and let's just go ahead and copy it into a new script i'm just going to paste it in uh, we need to import a number of things so we need to import bpy and uh, this object data add we are using it right here so let's just do that I'm going to copy this, this import, and I'm going to copy this. And in particular, uh, we don't need this just yet. Uh, if you're not familiar with this from, um, this is basically how you can import another uh, in a different way. You can actually write it like uh, so. so. And then if you use this right here you would actually need to write out the whole the whole path like so so you have the extras object utils and then that and then you use it right so we're going to we're going to use the thing that the blender developers uh, have uh, used so we're going to use this self right here i'm going to temporarily remove this uh, for now and i'm going to set the scale now right here to uh, one and let's call this right here. And for context, we'll use the BPY uh, current context. All right, that looks like it should work. Uh, and let's see how that works. OK, I'm going to delete everything from the scene by hitting AX and then delete. And let's run the script right here. And oh. Sorry, I forgot to import the vector. Let's do that. So we're using the vector right here, and we need to import this math utils. So let's do that as well. Okay, hopefully that was the last thing I need to import. And yeah, uh, I didn't clean up right here. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna add this back a bit later. But right now, this doesn't really matter. We can uh, not use this operator right here as a parameter and just run it all right okay that looks like it's working it's adding uh, just a plane right here so we're creating uh, four verts and we're defining a single face using the indices of this uh, list right here okay this is the functionality that uh, we have right now and let's continue with uh, the operator let's copy over that code and it's right here. So this is using a class. Uh, if you're not familiar with Python classes, I have a video on that. So make sure to check that out if you're not sure how this works. Uh, so I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste it right here. You don't need this anymore. I'm gonna, for now, I'm gonna just <clears throat> copy, uh, sorry, uh, comment this out. And we're going to take a look at just the operator, operator itself, how it's getting registered. I'm going to remove this for now. Again, everything that I'm removing, I'll be adding and explaining where it actually matters. Uh, this options I'm going to remove as well. Uh, and uh, that should be it. Also, I need to add this register and unregister. 
So let's do that. So I'm going to register, remove these uh, two calls, and I'm going to remove these two calls. So I'm just registering the class. So th that's, you notice that is the class name right here. I'm going to remove this uh, inheritance right now, and we need to import this. So this is our class is inheriting from the operator class. We need to inherit from it to make sure that we can use all the functionality that the Blender developers put into an operator. So uh, the operator is getting imported right here. I'm going to just copy it over into our script. And that should work. Let's take a closer look at this class. Uh, we have the name of the class uh, set uh, to object OT and add object. I believe that there is a typo in this uh, template because usually this is the uh, category and the category is also in the ID name. So the category is actually mesh, not object. So this probably should have been uh, mesh. OT is the type, so it's operator. And this right here is going to be the tooltip. Uh, you'll see that in just a minute. This will go right after bpy.ops and then it's going to be mesh add object and this will be added in uh, the buttons and the menu items that's going to uh, represent this operator that we're working on. By the way, to get a full list of categories that we already have in Blender, and go into the interactive Python console and type in BPY ops and then dot and then press tab. And that should give you a full list of the categories that are already defined in Blender. So now let's check if this uh, operator exists. I'm going to go into the interactive Py Python console and then type mesh, right? And there I'm going to try to search for add. And A, so there's not even a lot of things under A. So we're going to change that just right now when we run our script. So uh, hopefully I didn't forget any imports and this should all work. Again, it won't add anything into the scene anymore because we're not ac doing any execution. We're just registering this, uh, this class that we're defined, this operator, right? Uh, this is the only thing uh, that's going to run. It's going to register our operator and not, it's not going to run it, right? Also, a uh, thing to note is this register and this unregister is very important to be defined in an operator because Blender is actually looking for these two functions. It's, think of it as a contract where you must provide these two functions so Blender will know how to register your operator. All right, let's run this script. Okay, uh, no errors uh, occurred. That means that it looks like we've uh, successfully registered our new operator. Now let's, I'm just gonna go back into the interactive Python console and then try to find our operator and look at that. It's already there and it's defined. It's giving us a doc string that we defined right here. All right, now let's search for this operator in the F3 menu. I'm gonna hover over the 3D viewport and hit F3 and then search for add mesh. And you can see that only the meshes that are defined in Blender are only showing up. And to fix that, let's go into the edit menu and then preferences and then select a developer extras. And also while we're here, let's turn on the Python tooltips. Uh, this will allow you, for example, uh, if you hover over different properties of, um, the, of Blender in the UI, you will see how uh, it's represented in Python. So let's hover over that again. And you can see that uh, now we have uh, this information, how this is represented in Python. Let's go back. Let's search for add mesh again. And you can see right there, uh, that is our uh, operator that we just registered. And you can see that the name uh, in the tooltip is the same that we've defined. So remember BPY ops and then mesh 
add object and then we have the tooltip that we define let's actually update that so i'm going to add one two three right here uh, and that should update as soon as i rerun the script let's do let's search for that again and you can see that the tooltip updated as soon as we reran our script okay now let's add uh, this call to this function back into the execute uh, part of the operator uh, so into that method i'm going to add self right here i'm going to not uh uncomment this just yet because um we haven't we haven't defined the scale uh property i will do that in just a minute um and we need to update this right here as well all right like so so we're so now we're passing in the reference so this is a reference to the operator uh object and we're passing it into the object data add so now that we've updated our uh, operator let's re-register it so now this is uh, registered after our update let's try to run it uh, and before i run it it's going to give us an error but i want to show you this error so let's run that and yes we're getting an issue where um by the way you can see that uh how we should have named the class so it's mesh not object um but we're looking for a uh, location uh, property that is not uh, defined anywhere here this is actually defined in that other class so remember where we need to inherit from add object helper so we need to do that right here and we need to import that as well uh, right here and also you might think wait a minute but it there was an error but it still added the plane into the scene and yes that's correct the thing is that whenever we were adding the object we successfully add, were able to add it but then there's some code later down the line that does something with the location and when it tried to look at that um try to access that location property and did it and it failed so it didn't run all of uh, the code that is in this under this particular function and actually i can show you where exactly uh, that location is coming from again remember we're importing uh, we're importing and uh, inheriting from the add object helper this is it right here i'm opening uh, in another editor visual studio code uh, and we can take a look at so we're looking for uh this right here so this property is defined in this class and uh with when we're inheriting from this you can say that all of this uh code right here and, and these methods get copied in to into our class right here and you can look at this file in the install location of your blender so mine is uh as you can see right here uh on the screen it's under script modules and i just opened up the whole uh script folder and found where exactly uh all of this is defined all right so let's let's try to run this again and it shouldn't give us any issues because we're now uh inheriting from this add object helper so let's rerun it to re-register our operator and then let's search for our operator and run it and look at that no errors occurred while we were uh, executing this operator now let's take a look at the uh, bl options that we removed from our operator and we can actually take a closer look at what uh, can go into this by checking out uh, the uh, Python API reference. So this will open some uh, documentation and we can just type in that into the search bar and then look at the BL options. And by default, uh, you can see that by default it is just register. So if we don't actually put anything uh, in here, it's going to be just just this let's actually uh, do that we run this delete everything run our operator 
and you can see that really nothing uh, changed and the thing is that if we if we use that the thing is that you can check a, take a look at all the other uh, flags that we can set uh, there so I highly recommend as soon as you start working on uh, add-ons or even in with blender python scripts in general this uh, reference uh, to the python api is super super helpful and just try to search for things uh, in this reference and you'll find a lot of answers to your question in particular we want uh, to use this undo and it's gonna it's gonna be used for the operator redo you'll see this in just second let's take a look um, i'm gonna just add a cube and we have this redo panel right here that allows us to change things after we added mesh into the scene so now uh, when we run our uh, operator we don't have that redo panel so let's add that by adding this undo right here let's re-register our operator and let's run it again and look at that right away we have some something to play around with oops redo that again so we have these uh, options to play around with right the thing is that you might say wait wait a minute where are these things uh, coming from we didn't really define anything uh, in our operator right but remember that I showed you this add object helper see uh, we have the align the location and the rotation exactly these things uh, coming in and that is exactly where it's coming from all right so now that's done let's add our own uh, scale uh, parameter right here into our uh, operator so I'm gonna go back here and remember we deleted this we're gonna put this back so I'm gonna add that back uh, like so and and now that we have scale we can actually use this right here uh, so scale okay now let's re-register our well actually before I do that we're using um, float vector property that I need to import the float vector property right here we need to import that okay that is imported let's let's re-register this find that again run it and you can see right away we have our uh, scale right here that we can play around with so you can play around with this this right and like so so not, z doesn't really do anything um but the x and y uh do uh, actually notice one thing that um, <laughs> i would like to change the scale is with a lowercase letter i want to capitalize that uh, because uh, just for consistency sake uh, make sure to have your properties all consistently named uh, so this is going to be updated right here i'm going to use that scale remove that um, and let's actually while we're here let's update the default uh, to this re-register find our operator run it and look at that scale now with a capital letter uh, the default is 222 right uh, and you can see that the um, the tooltip uh, tells us the scaling uh, description that we have right here so notice as I hover uh, I get the uh, tooltip also note that uh, the scale has this X Y and Z um, and actually it's getting this from the uh, uh, translation uh, subtype and if I comment this out we're gonna get an issue uh, right here and uh, we're gonna not get those X Y and Z uh, parameters so this is gonna fail let me just re-register and show you I'm gonna run it and uh, at online 
10, you can see uh, on line 10, uh, we don't have the attribute X. Uh, but look at that, we still actually have the panel, but we don't have the X, Y, and Z. To fix that, if I really wanted to, I'm just, uh, I'm not gonna leave this uh, like so. Uh, I'm gonna just update this since this is a list and all lists start with uh, the index zero. So zero is for X, uh, one is for Y, and Z is two, right? The index two, we are not using it here. Let's re-register, run it, and that should fix the issue. Even though we don't have um, the X, Y, Z right here. Again, I'm just showing you uh, this, where that is coming from, uh, so it's not, uh, it's not randomly, so I'm going to undo this uh, and undo this right here. Uh, so I'm just, I just want to point out why we're doing this right here. Okay, let's put some final touches on our uh, template right here. Uh, we still need to add the button, so let's copy this. Let's paste it right here and again we need to register this button right here so that's the registration and we're registering it in the 3d view uh, menu under mesh add and then we're appending uh, we're giving this uh, this reference to this particular function that's going to register our um our operator uh there like so we're gonna add we're gonna see our our operator add right here and let's let's do that let's actually uh remove that as well all right let's remove everything from the scene rerun the registration okay everything works and now we should see our add object right here look at that and you can see the tooltip and the operator the python operator in the tooltip as well so let's run that and you can see that still play with this and it's working all right you might also notice that if you run the registration at this point uh you would run it multiple times we will continue to add uh, a new button for every single time we run this registration script. So after, if I run this one more time, we're gonna get uh, another button right here. I won't change that. I'm just gonna run it again, add. And you can see that uh, we're starting to just add more and more uh, buttons here. And to fix that, you can uh, just reload the scripts. So uh, go into systems, reload scripts, and that should remove uh, those buttons. But again, you need to re-register your operator now. Okay, and the last thing that we need to add that we have not uh, copied over yet is this uh, manual uh, documentation link. So let's do just that. And we need to also register that let's update this to blender 293 just to uh, make sure that this is actually working and it's not just sending us to some some random documentation so let's re-register register that oops oh and actually oops uh, i have a typo here so that's wrong. Let's re redo that. And now let's look on the online manual. And you can see that we're using uh, the Blender 2.9.3 version that we defined uh, right here. Okay, and the thing that we haven't done just yet is the add-on uh, information right here at the very top. So let's do that. So we're using a dictionary um, 
that's defining the name, the author, the Blender versions, where you can find, well, you can find the operator that this add-on is adding. Uh, so now let's go ahead and save it. So this will allow us to install this operator as an add-on. I'm gonna go into uh, text, save as, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna name the file addon.py. I did, um, again, you should probably save it into a different location with a better name. I'm just going to leave it like so, just for this example. Save as, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then Install, and then let's install uh, this add-on. All right, and look at that. Uh, now you can see all this information um, getting mapped into here. So your name, right, the version, uh, the location where this uh, is installed. So now Blender knows where to put exactly this add-on. It's gonna put it into the scripts add-ons folder. Uh, and to enable this add-on, you'll need to click on that as you would with any other Blender add-on. All right, I hope you enjoyed this deconstruction of this template and you learned something. So if you did, make sure to give this video a like. And for more tutorials and videos like this, make sure to subscribe and thank you so much for watching.